Dear Journal, the time has finally come. After stepping away for some time, we've been feeling inspired to create again. Our minds are in a different place now. We're starting all over again like it's the first time. Everything feels brand new. There's a lot of work ahead of us. We're ready to face it all, every step of the way. Hey guys. Hey. We're back. We were gone for nine months. Yes, and now we are back today in the office and we are about to plan our upcoming 33rd fashion and beauty editorial photo shoot. We enjoyed our time doing our spiritual cleanse. Yes, we were able to find new inspirations, ideas, and just pretty much reset our mind. So getting back in the game is a little challenging for us. Yes, especially we've been out of the loop for such a long time and we're kind of like starting all over again and reinventing. So right now it's very, very overwhelming, a little bit overwhelming. Yeah, and what you don't realize is like, even though we took a break for nine months, yeah. the world doesn't stop and technology keeps advancing. Exactly. We're on our 33rd editorial. Yes, and looking back, we tend to shoot a lot of dark, moody aesthetics. So this season, is bringing you a lot of color, especially neon color. So it's definitely something that's new for us. Yeah. And it's something that we've never done before. So we're pretty excited. Yeah, and this is the part where we agree to disagree. <laughs> yes, definitely. It's gonna take us a while to come up with a new concept. It's been a long time. So we're gonna sort out both of our ideas and hopefully we can come to an agreement. We're planning our fashion and beauty editorials, which is coming up in a couple weeks. So this gives us a lot of time to prepare and make sure we have everything right before we meet up with our producers, casting directors, and our team. So that way when we get on set, we kind of have everything planned out and everything will run smoothly. So everyone asked where we were on our break. Yes, we actually took some time just to enjoy ourselves. We've missed out on so many things, like as far as traveling. We actually had the time to relax, which is something we're not used to. We're always just on the go. And one of our favorite places that we've traveled to was Palm Springs. Yes. Take us back. It's a vibe. It was our first time at the desert. Yeah, which was cool. And the spot that we stayed at was very awesome. It's a pool. It was like right in the middle of the desert. It was one thing that was really weird. We were swimming one day and you saw a car pull up and we freaked out. With the message written on the car, disinfect all. We had no idea what that meant. Knowing us, we carried a kitchen knife the whole time. <laughs> Don't mess with the hood. And we also got to experience Joshua Tree for the first time. When we return, we definitely should stay in Joshua Tree. In Joshua Tree, yeah. I actually want to experience the cowboy pool. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. yeah, we didn't get to go in a cowboy pool, but we did see Joshua Tree National Park, which was also an awesome experience around the time we went. Because it was empty. Yeah. And one of our other favorite escapes was the Catskills. So in the cottage that we stayed at upstate, it was an old fireplace. I felt a lot of energy coming from it. Yeah, it was really weird, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they were coming for our dog. Yeah, because Benji- He was up. acting very weird. Benji was acting very weird. And he ended up falling down the stairs. Like he was just walking down and he rolled down the stairs and started limping when he got up. I felt I so I didn't get to see it. <laughs> yeah, and it happened to be when I just turned the camera off too. And you know, there was definitely something there. We would definitely go back. Yeah, it was a sweet escape. <laughs> We're trying to pull up inspiration for the spring summer editorial, which it tends to be hard for us because spring and summer is definitely not our favorite season. Only when it comes to fashion. Our season is fall and winter. Fall, winter. Yes. Definitely, hands down. Things that are just too bright, it just tends to look cheesy commercial. I'm definitely loving a lot of the neon makeup the inspiration. Neon. Right. Old. And based on what we're seeing on Pinterest and Google, there aren't that many strong inspirations to pull from. So that's a plus. We get to create something and hopefully it'll 
be an inspiration to all of you guys. The first thing people think of when they think of spring summer, they think of florals and like yes. pastels, colors. We're trying to bend the rolls a little bit. Yes, I think that's something that'll be fun. Let's discuss the concept. The concept is studio captured with bright colors. Yes. As far as the lighting, we want something clean. Minimal. Also providing a simple set. So the main focal point will be the fashion and the makeup colors. For the fashion direction, there's a lot of designers and a lot of styles that we're currently loving. So some of the designers that we're currently loving at the moment for the season is Saint Laurent, David Coma, Christian Seriano, Versace, and Valentino. For the fashion styles that are in for this season right now are a lot of cutouts, lime greens, hot pink, ultra neck looks, as well as oversized gems. And how about for the hair? What would you like for the hair? Something that doesn't take away from the makeup. Why don't we just go with something that's kind of like borderline slick but not flat? And how about makeup? Should we do solid? What textures do you want? Dewy, liner looks. How about we try matte? Highlighted cheekbones. Bright lips. Bright lips, definitely. It's a must. How about the mood? A little moody with that touch of femininity. Bright colors. I wouldn't mind also shooting very minimalist as far as like a simple backdrop because what if it's too much color? The fashion and the makeup just tends to get lost. Well, it, it'll just be the mood that we're trying to portray a little edgier. Yes. Okay. But with that twist. Some of our classic inspirations, of course, are always Alfred Hitchcock and Guy Bourdain. Guy Bourdain. We always have a plan on what we're gonna shoot, but when we get to set, we're just like, okay, let's change it. Let's just do something completely different. Because you always end up shooting something completely that's your own. Yes. We're always about topping our last work. And I think this time it's kind of a little bit less pressure because we get to come back and just kind of generally play and leave a lot of things open. So did we come to an agreement? Yes, let's send this to print and show everyone. Yes. I never called you, never wrote. I just prefer to be a ghost. You work the night shift, I never go. It feels like years since I've seen you glow. Never forget to give yourself some credit for all your hard work. You are good enough and you do enough. Until next time, adventure awaits.